Okay, gentlemen, February 7th, did we review the minutes? January 17th. Oh, right, but today's date is. Wow. Yeah. Today's date is February 7th. Where am I? <laughs> January 17th minutes. Everyone reviewed them. Everything is in order. Make a motion to accept. Greater. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, the only thing I had correspondence with is a vision usage group meeting. That's on March 20th, but I'm not <coughs> sure if I want to go. So it might be better to hold it off. There's no cost other than just going there. But it's something that might be covered online or will be covered online when they do the annual user group meeting in April. And it's probably easy to go over it, go through that stuff online in April on the computer rather than... Than use your discretion. Than mm -hmm. driving all the way there, yeah, and back. Because it's a two and a half hour class and it's going to take the entire day between driving yeah. out there and yep. back. Get there and back. Yeah. So I probably don't want to attend. I don't think it's worth it. Sounds reasonable. Hmm. Uh, item two is motor vehicle abatements. Approve and sign the January monthly lists. Just need a motion and a second. Make a motion. Great. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> and then a motion and a second to sign the two motor vehicle excise commissions. 2004 number one was 709000 That's up about 40 grand from last year. And the price of vehicles. <laughs> 2003, uh, yeah, it's slightly down in size, number of vehicles. Number wise, the, yep. It's up about 40 grand, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's a commitment seven of 2003 for $6,055. Bannock made a motion. Made a motion. Yep. Greater second. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next item up is our budget. There is a copy of the town administrator's departmental budget for us. Actually, I'm going to skip to this page. Few changes on it. The clerical wages we submitted 14196. They put it in at 13283, which I'm not sure what they actually adjusted on that. Uh, we had it six months of Janus staying until well actually it's six we the budget was six months of Janus and then six months of a new person at 16 hours a week. I'm not quite sure how they calculated it out, but Janice would end up being seven, and f it'd be seven and five. So I'm not sure if they reduced it to 15 hours a week for cool. 16 okay. or how they tweaked it. Uh, <coughs> professional services, they dropped to zero. That was the 1,200. Mm -hmm. The tuition meetings went from 6,300 down to 3,000. I said that might be a problem if the person that you get in here doesn't know vision or radar. If they know it, then we don't need any of it or just a small amount of it. But it's a big risk not to have at least two days on each. So it would be better system. to have it in there and it's not better to have it there. Yeah, I said yeah. we can live with this number because it would give you two half days of vision online and one day of radar in office and then I said the best option would be to put some more money away in the reserve fund or somewhere else to pay for that extra two days of training if needed. Uh, we could donate our salaries though. You know. <laughs> the only other thing which I told Carolyn when we met was the mileage they reduced from 500 to 300 and I said that's that's a problem. What? What was the reasoning? We spent 200 and something a year last year. Oh, so. 
but last year's didn't include any like meetings or driving and not as many permits. I said, the 500 is mileage reimbursement for going out using my car to go out and the new person using their car to go out and do building permits. Yep. Measuring, we go to for the basement inspection, we go, I go out and measure a house, pick up a deck, a pool, whatever, it's for that. Yep. It's not, oh, I'm going to the Cape and then I'm going to somewhere in Vermont or mm -hmm. Connecticut for a meeting. So that is something, that's the one thing that I think needs to get added back in. This is a 200. And then again, that's 200 bucks. It's not a, town's not gonna go under adding 200 in. You use her car. <laughs> but that's it for that. I mean, I don't know if there's anything you wanna argue with them, I don't see the point. The budget is semi balanced to put it as submitted. Yeah, there's nothing here. The, that's the discussion is just going to be a few little bits here and there with finance <coughs> yeah. mileage. Yeah, that's probably yeah. it. Small potatoes. Yeah, uh, next page is this year's budget <coughs> where we are at this point, and we're we're fine for this year. <clears throat> I don't see us having any shortfall in any of the accounts. Book binding, that's an old one. What? Oh yeah, we don't even do that anymore. I don't even know why it's still in there. We haven't had money in that account <clears throat> for five years, but for some reason it still gets carried forward. It's, it, yeah, I remember doing it when I was with Joanna. Yeah, we used to have to find it. Years ago. Like now, you can just yeah. electronic copies. Uh, finance committee. My understanding is they are meeting on Thursdays, starting tomorrow. Every Thursday at six. Well, with some exceptions, maybe. Uh, did you want to meet with them? For the budget, or do you want me to handle it? I mean, there's nothing here that's you can take care of it. This it's not a big deal. Yep. Yeah, well, and Carolyn, the only the only thing on the budget was the mileage. Yeah, and I mean that's not even a fight either. No, I mean we can. The problem I would rather take two hundred out of another account, like office equipment maintenance, drop two hundred from there and add it back into the mileage, just to make it. Because once you cut it to three, it's going to stay three going forward. And okay. mileage is that's 300 miles that the person can drive in a calendar year. Well, maybe the new, year. new person will be a walker. I oh, know, it's pretty far to go up to. <laughs> maybe there'll be a Sunderland line to measure up a deck. Electric wheel. Maybe there'll be a runner. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, that's still pretty far. What is it, like three? It's how good a runner you are, yes. <laughs> what a mean dog on steel. Clause 41C exemption. I included this in here. It's basically a copy of two memos that I sent to the town administrator. Uh, David Phil and Amy <coughs> Parsons requesting that they put an article on for the Springtown meeting for the 41C <coughs> exemption. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of people that will still qualify for that, but I'm sure there will be some. Because the income levels only go up about 7000 a year. Just go through it again, Dan, quickly. Uh, well, right now we've got Clause 41. It's going to be 70 as of July 1. You need single income is less than eleven six fifty five, and married income is less than fifteen four eighty, and that includes social security. So no one gets this. With the asset limit of seventeen for single and twenty if you're married. <coughs> Changing the forty one C, the income limit for single with social security goes up to eighteen six fifty three. And the married goes up to twenty-three four eighty. 
the asset limits for a single would be 40 and the married asset limit would be 55, not including the home. There are other options that have higher limits, but I would recommend at least for the first year, just adopting the, the base right. to see how many there are. Because yep. this one is $500 a year off. And then that can be scaled up. And the asset limits and income limits can be scaled up. I mean, some communities have it where it's in the 30s yep. for income. And assets are significantly higher than the 55. Uh, income and expense questionnaire for FY25. Here's the next slide. There's a copy of the cover letter and all the forms in your packet. These are basically the same forms that we've sent out every year. For setting next year's taxes, our values. The only changes I've made to them are date changes. Yeah, it's that page starts it and then it goes a whole there's a whole big packet. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's been working. Yeah, it's not anything, and it, it helps. If they don't return it, they can't go to the APD. Well, they can file, but we can get it dismissed. We, we would be harmed. So we just need a motion and a second to approve it. I'll make a motion. Trader, second. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, annual report has this on the agenda last meeting and we wanted to hold off. Yeah, I looked through it. It was, it's, it's, as they say, good enough. Good enough. Close enough. It meets what the select board wants. Yeah. Two pages or less. And has all the information. So we just need a motion. Second Bannock, I'll make a motion. Greater. Accept. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, seventh thing is the winter meeting, which I attended by Zoom this morning. They went over subsidized housing valuation or affordable housing valuation. It was more in the line of green leaves. Winfield, mm -hmm. the two buildings that are there. Uh, basically, we're we're doing it okay the way we have it. I mean, the two properties sold during the evaluation period for more than what we had them for. We bumped them up slightly this reval period so that the, it met the ratio studies. We're we're good with those. It's not something where there's actually a deed restriction as to how much you can sell for. This hearing, the webinar today dealt more with you buy it outright and then you sell it 10 years later and it says how much you can sell it for. There's a lot of those where people buy individual units like if uh, East Commons was affordable the units that they were going to put in there it would have said okay you, can, you buy it for this you can sell it for no more than yeah. than this value when you go to sell it. And uh, the probate portion of it, accessing probate records, they basically said that probate is not complying with the law. <laughs> when the, the Municipal Modernization Act, back under Baker, I think it was 2016 or 17, said that they had to provide us with access, and they're not basically doing that. The guy went on the, their website and it wasn't even available from the state. Today it was down. <laughs> I mean, I've been on there and I can look new stuff up, but you can't look anything up past, I want to say 2020, that was recorded. And what's online is very limited. But hmm. it does give initial stuff in a probate if you need it to, to assess a property to. What do you want to representative or somebody, a state executor. And I 
believe that is it, except for <coughs> we have the executive session. I revised the form. If you want to read the highlighted lines. Hmm. You're going into executive? Yeah, to go over the, oh, Jeff will explain. The Board of Assessors is entering executive session to conduct business relating to pending litigation, FY 2023 ATB cases, and FY 2024 real estate and personal property abatement application. Yes, you got a flag, Dan? Oh, I'll put one up right here. Okay. <coughs> Roll call vote. Yep. Bannock? Yep. Grader? Yep. Mish, yep. 